this customer is having solar on this roof but why have we dug this massive trench well problem is we've got an incoming supply on the main building we've got power on the garage roof the garage isn't attached to the house and we need to get the power from there back to the house we've got two choices we can run it surface can't really do that here it's across about four different levels or we trench it and this is the stuff that people miss when they're pricing up solar jobs you probably got about 10 meters on that cat five yeah now this isn't as straightforward or as cheap as you might think it is because when we got here to site today we needed to work out the route. Obviously we're going to disturb a lot of ground. We want to reduce the amount of damage that we actually cause and the first thing we needed to do was scan the route where we were going to go with something called a Cat and Jenny. This is a ground scanner to make sure there was no power cables, no gas lines and no water lines in the ground where we were going to dig. The next thing to do is to get a big digger here and start chopping away at the ground, digging down about 600 millimetres. Once that's done, we then need to start laying some ducting before we can put our cables in. Sometimes we price these on solar jobs and people are like, ah, oh, I'm not paying that. It's too much money, I'll dig it myself. Knock yourself out. <laughs> So how much does all this cost? Well, it varies depending on the ground, whether you've got paving, whether we're digging over soft ground, hard ground, hardcore concrete, but a rough figure would be about hundred pounds per meter to dig the trench and about 20 pounds per meter to put the cable in. All in on this job, we're looking at about 1600 pounds because this is a massive run over three different levels and we've got to put four power cables in the ground. So it's not as cheap as you think it is. If you want to see the full install video of this project with this massive trench, panels on the garage and a Tesla Powerwall 3, then head over to the Heatable YouTube channel. So can you avoid trenching? Well, not if your panels or your array is separate to your main property or you're going for a ground mount. Your only other alternative is to run the cables on the surface, which isn't really great unless you've got a board or you can sort of tuck them by the side of a fence. Now, if you do have a project like this, which is a non-standard, more complex job, then don't worry, Heatable aren't gonna be put off by it. We love these complex installs. And if you wanna get a price to have your solar system installed, then head over to heatable.co.uk.